हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो वी आर डिस्कसिंग सेमिट्री एनालिसिस फॉर पी डी ई एंड अनदर नेम फॉर दिस सब्जेक्ट इज ग्रुप एनालिसिस फॉर पी डी ई और यू कैन से ग्रुप एनालिसिस फॉर पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन बेसिकली एट फर्स्ट साइड वी विल डिस्कस ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड देन वी विल मूव टू वर्ड पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन बिकॉज यू नो बिफोर डिस्कसिंग पी डी वी हैव वी शुड हैव द नॉलेज ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड ऑल्सो ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस नाउ स्टूडेंट्स एज इन द लास्ट लेक्चर आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट वट इज सेमिट्री एंड वी हैव चेकड दैट a circle is a perfect symmetry okay and uh, we say that circle and sphere are perfect symmetries because you know their curvature is the same uh, we can easily guess uh, that a curve or an object is symmetric um, by just looking at its geometry but how we can calculate or we can find uh, by solving algebraic equations now students we have a definition and we have a procedure and this subject that is about group analysis for pd give us that answer that how we can calculate the symmetry and the definition says that a symmetry is a transformation that leaves an object unaltered now students let us look up at a particular example and see how this definition works for example we have a question show that the transformations these are the two transformations is symmetry transformation for the line now students we have a line and we have to check that the transformations that are given to us basically these transformation also form a group okay and uh, i will uh, elaborate it in a while but first of all we have to check either this line is symmetry transformation under these transformations or not now students if you look, look up at here the line is invariant under the transformation as first of all students when you need to check the in uh, invariance of something then you just have to replace your original equation or original curve or you can say original differential equation by the bar like you have to write y bar is equal to 1 over 2 x bar and then uh, students you are given the transformations then simply substitute the value of x bar and y bar here like y bar is equals to e raised to power epsilon y and that is equal to 1 over 2 and the value of x bar is here now students you can see we can cancel out these two terms with each other and then we are left with the original equation and now students we can say that yes this is the symmetry transformation now students in this way we have checked its symmetry but the next task is whether these transformation form a group or not if the given equation is invariant then definitely these two transformation form a group let us check um, i whether it forms a group or not now student look up at here uh, b- basically these are the transformations that are given in that example and these uh, form a stretching group uh, now you know when we are uh, going to check the properties of a group then there are basically four properties first one is clear law holds other uh, is identity inverse or uh, um, definitely after clear we check uh, associative uh, law and identity and inverse now student now students first task is to check the associative law now for associative law you know uh, we have to check the condition like um, in the previous transformations we are given x bar and y bar but here you have to replace your term like x double bar and y double bar definitely x double bar will be equal to e raised to power delta i have replaced um, my uh, you can say del epsilon with delta term okay so that we can differentiate between the two now x double bar is equal to this one and y double bar is equal to this one now students if in this term like x bar the value of x bar is given to us that is our original transformation so just you need to substitute its value here and then after that you can see uh, we can separate e raised to power delta and e raised to power epsilon and then we will get x double bar is equal to this one and uh, this is definitely if it is a group and e raised to power um, delta plus epsilon is an other term like the one we have already discussed now in the similar way we can check for the y double bar now if the associative law hold then definitely uh, the given term will be uh, closed now the other target is this we have to check the identity for identity if we just substitute epsilon is equal to 0 in our original transformation equations that are x bar is equals to e raised to power epsilon x then definitely um, let me write it again x bar is equal to e raised to power epsilon 
x if we put epsilon is equal to 0 then e raised to power 0 is equal to 1 and then we will get x so in the similar way we will get y bar is equal to y so these are the identity trans identity transformations in the similar way if we want to check the inverse then definitely uh, the inverse is a term that will uh, give us identity so i just replace uh, e raised to power epsilon with minus epsilon and we will see that uh, basically these are the inverse transformations so as we have observed that our original transformation that uh, was basically our stretching group uh, that is written here uh, satisfy all the uh, four group exams uh, so it is basically a group and that's why the name of the subject that is uh, group analysis for PDE uh, says that we have a transformation and uh, these transformation basically forms a group and we have checked that a line that was given to us was invariant under these transformation so this is all about today's lecture thank you so much